Hey everyone, welcome to Encore, and today we're going to talk about the difference between a domed kabuki brush and a flat top kabuki brush. And I'm going to demonstrate what the finishes look like, and I'm going to be using mineralized makeup, so keep watching. Hey everyone, welcome back. So I get a lot of questions, especially from those who are just now starting with makeup, especially from those who are just now starting to use mineralized foundation. You know, which kabuki brush to use or which buffer brush to use. So there's pretty much two different kinds. The dome shape one, which is just like this, much like a 182, and it's basically have that dome shape to the top of the bristles. And the other kind is the flat top kabuki brush, just like this, a 183 and basically the brushes or the bristles are denser. Now the color of the bristles doesn't matter. This is just white goat hair and I believe this is black goat hair. So the application is going to be different. Now if you want coverage and if you want you know something that will pack on color right away then the flat top dense brush just like a 183 would be your best bet because it's going to pack on color right off the start. Now, if you want something that you can build, that you can just dust on, you know, maybe set, you know, a liquid foundation with a powder or something that you can build to medium and then, you know, build that to more of a fuller coverage, then the dome-shaped brush is going to give you that because it's got a softer bristle, you know, and it's going to apply it on lightly if you'd like and then add some more to get a medium coverage. And if you want a fuller coverage, then you layer another you know, layer on top of that to give you a fuller coverage. So, today's demonstration, I'm going to do half and half. Now, I already prepped and primed my face, so I moisturized it about 20 minutes ago, and I also primed it using prep and prime skin. And um, I have a video on how to prep and prime your skin called Prep and Prime 101, and definitely, you know, watch that if you haven't done so. All right, and then for this demonstration, I'm using my mineralized foundation from beautyfromtheearth.com and this is the color that works for me so far out of all the other brands and I like the finish of this product so definitely check that out if you're in the market for mineralized foundation and I'm a medium in their line so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of powder on the cap so that way I don't you know cross contaminate the main jar and I'm going to do the dome top first. And a lot of people just apply this on dry, which is fine. But I find that the best way to really use mineralized foundation with a buffer brush is misting it with like a fix plus. Now this is an optional step, really. But it does give you a better finish. Alright, you just need a spritz just like that. And then I'm just going to dab that right into my mineralized foundation okay and then tap the excess off and I'm going to do this half of my face now with a buffer brush like a kabuki brush you buff it on in a circular motion just like that I usually start from the forehead and then work downwards so right in the temporals right in the cheekbone. Now if you need more just pick up some more of the product. Then buff it onto the skin. So in circular motion just like this. Okay so as so you can see it's giving me right now a light or almost like a light medium coverage. Okay, once again, I'm just going to spritz, just one, add some more, work that around my chin and jawline. Okay, so there you go.
And then again, if I want, you know, more of a medium to full coverage, I'm just going to have to layer that on. So that's one thing about, you know, the dome-shaped brushes, is that you can start light and then build to a fuller coverage. Okay, so we're going to move on to our flat top kabuki brush. And once again, I'm just going to spritz just once, dab that, tap, and then starting from the forehead, you work it. As you can see, the difference already. When you first apply it on, it's going to give you more coverage right off the bat. Okay, so that's one thing about the flat top is that, you know, you really can't start light. You can, it takes a little bit of effort, but if you want something that gives you a full coverage right off the bat, then definitely the flat top is going to be your best brush for that. Because it's denser and uh, it's going to pack on the product right from the start. Cover this part see so when you're buffing it's actually like in a circular motion much like waxing cars I guess you know you do it in a circular motion when you buff it to shine Okay, so there you have it. As you can see, you know, I have a lot more product on this side than on this side. Now, if I want to match, you know, this side, all I need to do is basically put another layer in there and then put another layer in there until I get a fuller coverage. And that's using a dome-shaped brush. All right, so hopefully that helped you guys out to decide whether, you know, you prefer a dome-shaped brush or a flat-top kabuki brush. And again, you know, it's going to give you a different finish. So you get more coverage right off the start, you know, with less effort if you use a dense flat brush. And with a dome-shaped brush, you can start with the light dusting or you can start with the light coverage and then build that to a medium or even to a full coverage. It's just a matter of just putting a little bit more effort in layering it on. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me today, and hopefully that helps out. And until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.